What is that? You know, I can wipe my nose with 20. Give me some real money. But I'm saying, when you give your children money, make them work. Make them earn money. Don't just give it to them. When you just give children money, they have no value for money. They have no value for it. When you say, you will wash the car, you will vacuum the whole house, you will do this or that. If you, you know, don't have work outside, work inside the house. But work, serious work, and then I'll give you something. Then I'll, you'll earn it. You'll do all the dishes for this week, and then I'll give you something. And even if you give them two dollars, two riyals, five riyals, ten riyals, they will value it. If you just give it to them, you ask them the next day, where's the money? Uh, what money? What are you talking about? They spend it like that. Because they have no value for it. I had a very wealthy friend in America whose son memorized Quran. So he was so happy with his son, he bought him a BMW. Okay? And then M3. That's a serious car, guys. That, you know, I've sat in an M3 before and I've, I remembered Malakul Maut because the guy driving it went <laughs> like, he went 160 miles, not kilometers, miles an hour. That's insane. You know, speed of light. And this 16, 17 year old driving an M3 and he like got into three, four accidents, destroyed the car. Destroyed the car. Father says, he's a wealthy guy, you know, he's a surgeon, he buys him a Lexus. Destroys it again. And he says, he came to me and said, what should I do? I keep, my son keeps destroying cars. I'm like, why do you keep giving it to him? Tell him, I am not buying you a car, go get a job, earn your money. So he works at a tire shop. He, his father is a surgeon, but he works at a tire shop. He works at a clothing store. He goes and does all kinds of, he mows lawns for people. He earns the little bit of money, and then what does he do? He, pay, he buys this $1,500 really bad car. But he washes it every day. He takes care of it. And he's so proud of it. Hey, sisters, sisters. Hey. <laughs> what just happened upstairs? Who's fighting? <laughs> just end the fight right now and let's come back to the dars. Okay? I know it's hard. I know. No, you don't want to do that? I still hear you. Yeah, you. Stop it. Okay. Sisters, let me tell you a little secret to how you get people to stop talking. You stare at them the way you stare at your husband when he forgot to get the groceries. <laughs> okay? You don't have to say anything. Just stare at them with that look of death that you have mastered, and they will be quiet within 10 seconds. Okay? It always works. Okay. Anyhow, so spending responsibly. What's the next category? It's so beautiful. Somebody says, man, Ustad Norman, you gave us these categories, but I don't know. First category was control my anger. I'm like the Hulk, Ustad. I can't control my anger. 